Live from KTVN Reno, you're watching 2 News at 5.30. This is just another step in ensuring that when, when and if something does happen, we're, we're prepared. Firefighters with the Reno Tahoe International Airport are getting some valuable training this week. They're practicing on a burning plane. That is our 2 News Big Story at 5.30. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kristen Remington. Ryan has the day off. Thank you for keeping it here with us. This kind of training happens every year, usually in other cities. It's required for commercial airports to stay in operation. Paul Nelson joins us live at Reno Tahoe International Airport, the fire station there. And Paul, what do these drills do exactly? Well, for one, it allows them to practice on real fire, Chris, and it lets them train how to put the fires out, and it lets them work on their response time. Now, if a plane crash actually happened in Reno, it would require a lot of resources from across the region, not just here at the airport's fire department. So that's why it's so valuable to have this kind of training right here on the airport's grounds. Hard landing, runway 16 right, wings are collapsed, smoke and fire visible, no evacuation in progress. This replica fuselage simulates a plane crash. It's called the Mobile Aircraft Fire Trainer, giving firefighters valuable practice. This is preparing for the day that we hope never comes. So on the airport's worst day, our firefighters have to be their best. Firefighters train as if it's the real thing. So the goal is to keep passengers safe. If we have direct flame impingement on that aircraft fuselage, it's gonna burn through really quickly, 60 to 90 seconds. Typically. So the first thing we want to do is cool that off to protect the passengers on the inside. It allows firefighters to train on different scenarios like wheel and engine fires, rescue operations, and incident command scenarios. This is as real a practice as we can possibly make it. This is real fire. This is real smoke. This is a fuselage where they're going to be fighting the fires going inside the aircraft. The airport's firefighters usually have to travel to cities like Dallas or Salt Lake City for this kind of training. So having the fuselage here helps in a lot of different ways. And the fact that we can actually host it here at the airport and work with our neighbors, Reno, National Guard, um, anybody else come out is, is fantastic. So we do have confirmed fire the number one engine and on the ground. A commercial plane crash in Reno would likely mean more than 100 people on board, so it would require the help of other agencies. Not only can they train together, but they can also use their own equipment, like these crash trucks. We have different equipment. We're very specialized here at the airport. So to have these other agencies come in and see exactly what we do and work with us is something we couldn't do if we were to travel somewhere else. As we mentioned, this kind of training happens once a year, and it's going to last through Sunday right here at the airport. It's different than Operation Broken Wing. That's when all of the regional partners come together and train on a mock plane crash. That happens once every three years. Covering the big story live, Paul Nelson, 2 News. Yeah, both exercises.